Okay, so uh, welcome to the Science and Transport Podcast Show. So we are back again with another interesting uh, podcast. Um, last week we had an interesting podcast uh, where we featured uh, Edwin Sofukwe. And as you can see, he joins me again. But on board we have uh, Harrison Piri where we're going to be having uh, some serious discussion uh, themed um, the Olympiad approach. And, and thank you very much for the feedback concerning uh, last week's uh, video. That was really, really incredible. Uh, got a lot of um, response from people, people sharing it, people watching and liking it. Uh, it was quite an interesting topic. So today we're going to be having another incredible discussion uh, on the Olympiad approach. Uh, so many of you would want to ask what the Olympiad approach is all about or what Olympiads are. So just like I earlier stated in the post which I uh, uploaded on my profile and on our official page, uh, stating that Olympiads, uh, these are exams that are written across the world uh, in cities, uh, different countries, uh, STEM-based uh, exams, uh, um, mathematics, uh, physics, chemistry, and biology. So today we have people that have written these exams before, and we're going to be talking uh, and looking at it from a Zambian perspective. Um, having mentioned that uh, Zambia Jets uh, is the body that is responsible for these exams, so we have people that have written these exams before, and we're going to be giving a personal view and how they prepared for these exams. So. Uh, maybe to start with, uh, Harrison, welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay. Uh, Simple play. Back again, you're happy, yeah? <laughs> okay, so uh, maybe just to, uh, you know, I want us to be quick because, you know, we don't want to spend so much time discussing this. But um, <coughs> I want to start with uh, Harrison Perry. And for you, for people that are watching, uh, Harrison Perry wrote Olympiads in the year 2017 and uh, he came out first, that was Provincial Mathematics Olympiads and he went to represent Lusaka in the National uh, Jets Fair uh, Olympiads final. So, uh, this guy scooped, uh, he did well actually, because I'm hearing he got 100% in math and that was the first other uh, person ever did that in, in Olympiads uh, exam. So Mr. Harrison, I want you to give us um, like how was it, how did you approach the, the exam, how did you prepare and how did it feel uh, coming out as a top student and not just coming out top but scoping 100% an exam that is known to be very hard and an exam that people even get, sometimes highest can even be 30% but getting 100 like how did you do that, how did you do that and maybe try to tell us more about how you approach the Olympiad. Alright, thank you very much for the question. Uh, <coughs> First and foremost, uh, Olympiads, <laughs> I would say the inter easy tax for someone to take during secondary school due to the fact that the other pressures, uh, yeah, yeah. like, yeah, I have to focus on other subjects. But, like, uh, as for me, the way I, I did it, I mean, I was in the first position. Like, uh, first, uh, I done a lot of research. Yeah, apart from that, yeah. Uh, I got the what the the course I not sorry <laughs> the, the the subject course outline oh, okay, like yeah. what's what's needed to be studied for and like yeah. so then during the, the course of my preparation I used to do a lot of research and you know, I come across a difficult question as to ask uh, my mathematics teacher or rather my additional mathematics teacher during secondary school uh, and I prepared myself for a lot of different questions so to say different past papers. Uh, the first people that people wrote yeah, uh, your back. And then uh, the other thing, uh, I, did, I got the motivation from people who wrote the same Olympia. I got the, the mentorship from EG, Christopher Mum. Oh, yeah, Christopher Mum. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and, other, and then the other guys who have brought uh, Olympia before. And then I had six, so I six uh, some mentorship from the Jets. Uh, back then, the Jets president. Encourage us now we can do it, even though we come from a school which is not well known in the subject. We are, motiv we are motivated. So when we went to write the Olympiads, I wouldn't say like, because uh, they are they really too easy. I would say like, they were average, so to say. Yeah. Yes, they were average, yes, I solved the questions that I knew. <laughs> and then I tackled the questions which are difficult at last. But not my sufferings, but. <laughs> Eventually, yes, I had everything. Yes. You tend not to get everything. Yeah? Yes. Uh -huh. so, then from there, the journey didn't stop from there. 
went ahead and we didn't we saw a project at national level where we met guys from well-known schools like Ukraine, Chisongo Boys, and all that. But I wasn't, I wasn't demotivated. Yeah, I wasn't demotivated. I said like, when I, I could make it at the provincial level, where I met people from DK and all that school. Even here I can make it, even though I've met people from Ukraine and other schools. And yeah, from, unfortunately, I didn't scoop the first position. I'd scoop the second position. Right? Otherwise, that affects everyone. <laughs> okay, no, no, that's really interesting. Huh? I love that you come out and say that you prepare the sick for mentorship, and I think that's one thing that a lot of people um, miss. There's that missing element where people just want to go ahead and do things on their own. Yes. They really don't want to seek help from from other people. I very much agree, and you know, I feel that. Um, what you've said is really going to be of help to, to someone out there. Uh, so uh, maybe just let me focus to Edwin, also get his view on, on the Olympiads. Uh, Edwin, uh, welcome to the podcast once again. Uh, so you being a person that has written uh, Olympiads before, and I'm very much sure you also did well uh, uh, in, in, in the Olympiads. So maybe the same question that I asked Harrison, but I want people to have different perspectives from different perspectives, different views, because Jack wrote um, mathematics, and then you uh, chemistry. So, I want to ask you this question. Um, how was it, like, how did you approach the Olympiad? And was it tough? Uh, and how was it beneficial doing Olympiad? Like, was it an upper hand going into uh, uh, this is it, national exams? Like, were you ahead of everyone? Were you ahead of the game? Like, was studying uh, level chemistry uh, a plus for you going forward uh, to your other exams? Yeah, so, thank you very much for that interesting question. Um, to start with, uh, I did the uh, Olympiads even in grade 9. No, oh, grade 9. Uh, that was mathematics. Yeah, it was mathematics by then. Uh, and uh, I didn't have a lot of mentorship and uh, preparation by then. So I came out at the first stage of the world competition and uh, I received the certificate. Then coming to grade 12, at least I had received a lot of motivation from Alison himself. Yeah, him being my cousin, he actually gave me a lot of appreciation uh, and advice on how to go about the Olympiads. So um, I went, uh, I, I looked chemistry by the way. Yeah, I looked chemistry. And uh, I, I, I in car it's different, like in Central Province, it's different the way Lusaka's Olympiads are arranged. There we actually light zones, then okay. from zones we go into zones. Then from there we load provincial, then we proceed to nationals. So uh, it was actually challenging. I, we, I, I participated in zones and uh, scooped the first prize. Uh, I didn't, uh, like, I was encouraged, then proceeded to inter zones. I also scooped first prizes there. Then that, that itself gave me a lot of motivation when I went to provincial level. I met big schools like uh, there's uh, St. Paul's in Cabo, the Selenja Boys. Those are big names, they're boarding schools. But uh, coming from a school like Wacha, which was not known in the province, that didn't give me, uh, like, it didn't motivate me. Instead, it gave me a lot of motivation, and I went there with fire and managed to scoop the first prize as well. Then um, I proceeded to the nationals when I represented Central Province. But there it wasn't very easy, so to say. Yeah, easy, yeah? yeah it wasn't easy. But at first, uh, I didn't, uh, I wasn't last. I wasn't second last, but at first I was uh, among the top four. Yeah, so to say. Um, there is a lot of uh, advantages uh, in Olympiads. Yeah, like uh, for me personally, uh, it, it actually gave me a lot of advantages. I would call it, uh, it gave me a strong technical background in terms of the preferred subject I searched for, like <coughs> chemistry. I, I, I think I was, uh, I was uh, in front of most students as in topics because of the same Olympiads. They actually uh, gave me a strong technical background in that subject of chemistry. Yeah, so uh, when I set my exams, uh, uh, the final examination, I actually knew I was going to get the distinction one when I set for the theory papers before the practical. Yeah, it was because of the same Olympiad. Like most of the questions that came, I already tackled them most of the uh, times. Another advantage is uh, of uh, Olympiad is actually it, uh, it helped me build my resume, so to say, my CV. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, when I went uh, to apply for the scholarship, uh, like there are a lot of guys who apply for a scholarship and good results. 
Yeah, but um, looking at my CV, like I listed the national level, I had a lot of certificates in JETS, so that itself um, was a added advantage to my application. Yeah, I think those are some of the ad advantages of writing or Oh, okay. So, you know, <laughs> thank you very much yet again. Huh? It's interesting how you guys are coming out and bringing out solutions and alternatives and also stating why people should be uh, sitting or writing uh, at these Olympiads. Huh? Okay, you know, I wouldn't want to tell, to tell my story, but yeah, I wrote Olympiads once, but <laughs> it's a story for another day. Huh? <laughs> it's a story for another day, but uh, you know, uh, maybe just as we come to a close of our podcast today, I would want you guys to give um, the last few words maybe to the people that are watching, to the people that maybe are going to be writing Olympiads next year, that are going to be writing Olympiads this year, and maybe even to the guys that are writing exams now uh, this year, people that maybe are looking at subjects and saying, well, this subject is hard, how am I going to tackle it, how am I going to to like overcome it but i want to get a perspective from you guys maybe just give out a message to, to students out there great troves uh, people that are in jets people that are in science clubs at school people that are aspiring for olympiads in, in the near future i would love I'll, I'll start with edwin then harrison and then we'll conclude i just want you to give uh, uh your advice or maybe a word of encouragement to these guys out there just in the next 30 seconds i will do it quickly and wrap up the podcast for today oh, all right uh, to the viewers out there uh, to all grade nines who are searching for the exams and to all high school students uh, my advice to you guys is that uh, you should participate in uh, uh, clubs like jets like, like jets club or uh, chemistry club physics club, additional mathematics club, I know there are some, there are those clubs at your schools. Yeah, 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 yeah. so you should participate in those clubs because uh, they, will help, they will help you a lot uh, when you're participating okay. or when you're preparing for exams, so to say. Rather than you studying alone, you might come across things that are difficult that you cannot articulate yourself. But with those clubs, you find people that are ahead of you and that will help you tackle those uh, those difficult topics so that uh, you may uh, uh, prepare for your exams very easy. So my advice to you is that uh, you should always uh, study hard despite of the inconvenience we have in terms of coronavirus. You guys should continue studying and uh, continue preparing for your exams. I think uh, that's my advice to the viewers out there. Okay. Uh, so quickly, Harrison, under the next 20 seconds, your word of encouragement to the viewers out there, and then we will call it a day. All right, uh, the word of encouragement to the viewers out there. Uh, focus on the issue of mentorship and the issue. Okay. Yeah, so my word of encouragement to the viewers out there, I would say um, I would focus on the two, two things, the mentorship and asking like, questions. So seek mentorship from the, from the right source, or rather right people. People have written Olympiad before and people have written exams before. And on the issue of what? Of asking questions, I'll say uh, ask questions from the source which, which may be available at home, at school, or with or friends uh, within clubs and the like. Okay. And uh, uh, people, uh, um, you can participate in, in what? In clubs such as Jets, Mathematics Club, and Additional Mathematics Club. And you should, should hear what people are saying, like, I uh, know. Physics, chemistry, biology, or math, they're hard. You know, you need to face them in yourself. Okay? You need to face them in yourself and be courageous all the time, you know, and be prepared for the time. That's cool. Okay, okay. Uh, so, uh, another interesting uh, piece from Harrison. A good word of encouragement. I love the way you come out. The mentorship is uh, vital and pivotal in everything that you're doing as a student, even away from Olympiads as a grade 12. It's very much important that you ask from people that have gone ahead with you because it really helps you and it will equip you for, for great things even as you as you progress in your academic life. So uh, to our viewers, it's been um, another exciting episode of the Science Advancement Podcast Show. So we come to an end of our podcast today and hope that um, you have learned uh, one or two things from the guys. Uh, Adrian Sinfukwe, thank you very much for coming through again. Harrison Peary, thank you very much for coming. And, and to everyone who's going to be watching, make sure that you like, uh, share, and subscribe to our channel. Make sure that you share this video. It's been Caleb, uh, Harrison, and Edwin Sinfukwe. Till next week. Bye-bye.